What's going on guys, Zach here, and welcome to another Game Maker tutorial. Today I have part 3 of my inventory system that I had started a while back. If you guys aren't familiar with that inventory system, then I'll go ahead and link you to a playlist in the description. But for now, what I want to do is I want to give you the download to this. So I've sort of updated it and uh, made it readable and accessible for you guys to actually use. And it's just a full inventory system that I had actually made for a previous game of mine that never actually got released. So I'll just kind of showcase the inventory system here. So if you hit shift, we have an inventory system. I Now everything's easy, you can easily edit things uh, in this inventory system. That's what makes it so good, I think. Um, let's say for example, if you don't want the you know 15 slots in the game, you can easily make it eight or five or 32, whatever you really want. Up here, these are called quick swap quick swap slots. I just thought it'd be kind of cool to add that into the game, along with an equip slot. So if we can go ahead and collect the resources here, so I'll just gather up a couple here. As you can see, they go into our inventory system. You can move it around and manage your inventory system however, however you'd like. You can right click to split the items. And as you can see, you can't overlap any, like an inventory system should work. Now you, you won't be able, this iron piece here, you won't be able to equip it. You'll need to get a hatchet, which I have right here. And we can go ahead and equip that. And our player is now changed to a hatchet. So it, it, it is more on the basic side of uh, a system, but it's really cool how I went ahead and made this. So I went into three scripts here. Oh, and then also there is a cap. That you can easily change on the items per slot which I have for 16 here and then I try to minimize the glitches if you guys find any glitches when you download it let me know and I'll go ahead and help you guys out with that all right and then the quick the quick swap slots you can hit Q and it will swap it so if you have like you know different things like in my game that I was making this inventory system with you would have like a torch and a chainsaw and a gun and things. So if you didn't want to go into the inventory system and you know drag a d drag this out, then drag another item in, you could easily just swap them. So that was sort of the idea around there. You can take this out pretty easily if you if you wanted to. All right, so let me just go ahead and show you the scripts here. So this is gonna what this is what you're gonna download. Uh, pretty simple. You've got a player, you've got an inventory, an item, and you've got all your items down here. So these are just, this, this is just a parent. You don't really need to do anything with that. Uh, the main things you need to do are these three scripts up here, the in and inventory, which if you add a new item into the game, you're gonna wanna add that global dot item. And then here you just pop in everything that you want. And let's take that out. All right, so let's go ahead and add an item into the game. So I'm gonna go to my item sprites here. I'm gonna create something, let's find cool resource um, let's do this berry all right so I'm gonna add the berry into the game so here I'm gonna say SPR berry all right and then I want to create the item so we're gonna duplicate this and say oh item berry give it the sprite and then in the create event we're gonna change the item ID to berry all right pretty simple and then if you don't duplicate this, make sure that you parent the item. Because in our player, when we collide with their item, we're using this item ID. All right, so then what we need to do is go into init inventory. We're gonna say global.item5 equals zero because we want the value of our, our, uh, our berry to be zero. We don't wanna start with any berries in our inventory system. So then we go to update our inventory, and you, all you have to do is copy this, paste it down. We're gonna say berry. We're gonna change this to five, because that's the ID that we set when we went into in an inventory. You see our global item five, that is our ID. And then we just put in our sprite. So you're just gonna wanna do this for here as well. So berry, SPR berry here as well berry SPR berry and you really just copy all this here so here we have release slot 
So this is, if you want to get something out of your inventory system, all you have to do is drag it off of the inventory screen and it will create uh, spawn that object for you. So here we want to spawn O item berry. And then here in the transfer item, up here is the only things you can equip. So if I wanted to be able to equip a stone, I would put it up here. But if I don't want to equip, you know, say the berry, then um, let's copy this and let's say berry. SBR berry. And then down here one more time. Berry SBR berry. And that should be it. So let's go ahead and run the game. Let me go ahead and add our berry into the game. Just like that. And let's run it. All right, so here you can see we have our berry, and if we go over it, we now have it in our inventory. So we can drag it along, we can drag it outside of it, and it creates a berry right in front of us. So we drag it, and there it is. And that goes along with, you know, if we have, let's say we had five, and we just wanted to get rid of three, we just drag that out, and it creates three berries for us that we can pick back up, and it'll stack back into the slot. And as you can see, we can't equip it. So there's also, like I was saying, a maximum capacity for the slots. So if we wanted the maximum capacity of the slots to be, let's say, eight, then what we do is in our add to inventory, all we do is change this number. So we say eight, and we run it. And let's pick up as many berries as we can. It's saying the word berry a lot. Kind of a weird word. Ah, there we go. All right, so it only went to eight until it started creating a new slot for us. I can create a whole inventory of berries. Let's get rid of them, I don't like them. There we go. All right, so if you guys want me to expand on this a little bit, then let me know, and because I have other ideas for the inventory system, what I would like to do is, as you can see with our hatchet, these actually um, stack on top of each other. What I wanna do is have them not stackable and with also a, a health bar on them as well. So, uh, you know, the more you hit things or like or like objects or, you know, if you're mining resources or something like that, the health goes down. Even when you drop it and you pick it back up, it retains its same health value and so on. So if you guys want to see that, then go ahead and leave a like or comment. Do something to let me know. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. If you have any questions, then leave a comment and I'll try and get back to you. All right, thanks. Peace.